Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Kenshi episode 5 for our series here. I've already gone ahead and I've uh, put these guys up here because we are getting ready. Nighttime is coming. We're getting ready to try thieving again before we finally leave this place and head off to the next place. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to steal some things to get a new character or a new character added to our squad. Plus, uh, maybe even grab some good stuff out of it. So we've got the travel gear here. I'm actually going to head inside here real quick. This is really what I would like to rob, but I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yeah, see, there's a guard here. See, this place is clearly high class enough that these guys must rotate out guards. I did actually go and increase my stealth to 45, which is pretty good, but that was the only thing I could really work on. So, but yeah, it'd be awesome if we could rob this place. There's a lot of really good stuff that he's carrying, which means there's probably a lot of really good stuff inside. Uh, inside some of those places. I don't know how long it takes for somebody to actually go to sleep. What other kind of stores do we got here? Anything else that would be worth uh, potentially robbing? The general shop. I'm really more interested in maybe the backpacks or the armor. I don't see a weapons, uh, weapons shop. Robotics workshop. That's actually where we could get a, a uh, robotic limb or something probably if we wanted one. No, we don't need any. These are all residential, so I don't actually see like a weapons farm shop. Uh. Alright, we'll probably try to rob this place again since we seem to have okay luck with it. I can go inside and see what they've got. See if it's even going to be worth my time. And this just gives me a general idea of what they carry in here. It doesn't mean that I'm always going to find this when I rob it. Uh, the large backpacks are okay. They're worth a decent amount. Aside from that, there's really not a whole lot here. The maps, though, would be handy. I could just buy those, but if I can rob them, that'd be even better. All right, we're getting real close to nighttime now. I'm going to watch this one as well. Let me go count how many guards are in here. And they don't even have any beds, though. Where do they sleep? Where do these guys sleep when it's time to close shop? People are in here. One, two, there's three inside here. And one on the roof. So four total. All right, four total. All right, let's definitely let time tick by while well, nighttime comes in here. These guys will be going to sleep any minute now. There we go. Stores are starting to close up. Let me see there's four in there. One of them went to the roof. We're watching, basically scoping out both these stores here. Practicing a little bit of sneaking while I'm waiting. While I'm waiting to see these guys go to sleep. Okay, so finally people are starting to lay down. Uh, I don't think people... S I don't know what these guys do. Okay, I saw one guy go downstairs. We'll see if he comes back up. They did have a guard posted out here. Okay, so we know that there is one guy currently downstairs. Still probably practice lock picking it. We just don't want to open the door. Is all. Okay, so we did lock pick it, which is good. What did that give us? Okay, lock picking's at eight. Good, good, good. So yeah, we don't want to open the door because we know that he's. He's downstairs, and I'm sure he's not asleep. So we'll see if he ends up coming back. Uh, I would like to lockpick this door, see if maybe I can... 
Let's see. I could rob the general store if I wanted to. There's a couple other places. The robotics area, but I didn't scope it out, so I don't know what to expect. Ah, uh, boy. This is dicey. Um, two beds, two people sleeping. No, there's three beds there. Boy, do people actually stay awake in some of these areas? I would have thought that I could break into a few of these, but if they got rotating guards, no, it doesn't really do me any good. There's a clothing store up here. Two guys asleep on the roof. How many beds? Two beds, two guys asleep. I think there was beds on the second floor. I did go inside this. I can go check and see. Since none of these other places seem safe enough. Uh, I'm not really going to get anything out of the clothing area, though. It's going to be worth anything. But I could maybe get just enough. We might be running. Nope. Nope, everyone's asleep. Alright, let's see what we can get. The good stuff's gonna be in, yeah, like a safe. I doubt I'm gonna, I'm not, yeah, I Not skilled enough yet, but I can get there. Oh, I actually probably want to go shut that door, but let's see what we've got. Uh, actually, these are worth a lot. Rusty chain shirt. They I don't have a good high, uh, very high stealing chance. Uh, Fifty-four percent. So let's see what we can do. Yeah, actually, those are worth a good amount. Um, boy, if I could steal a bunch of these chain shirts, that'd be great. I actually wouldn't mind. Oh, got caught. Okay, we gotta run. Run, 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 run. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We just gotta go hide. I f didn't shut the door. Oh, he's actually going to catch me. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, that guy wasn't coming for me. Good. All right, so we got away. Yeah, we got away. All right. Nice. Awesome. So we actually made off pretty good there. What did we get? We got the three shirts. They're worth six forty-five dollars apiece. I'll have to sell those off to somebody. Uh, who would be interested in them? Obviously, I would much rather keep them and wear them, but I don't think that that's going to happen. Uh, because unfortunately... Um, I need the money more than I need the gear right now. Okay, let's go back inside. Because my thieving, I'm trying to get my thieving up anyways. Cleaning up the seven. I need to get that much higher. And lock picking is at ten. Can I lock pick this? No. Okay, but we can loot this again. Ah, if I could steal enough of these. 66 now, so we're getting up there. 67. Ah, alarm raised. That's not good. Okay, move, 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 move. You gotta move. Why am I not moving? There we go. Wow. 
So the alarm's going off. Those guys are yelling. They're not too happy, obviously. So we're going to come out of sneak real quick and run up to here as fast as we can. Go into sneak. We just got to wait for the committing crime thing to end, and it's down. All right, so we did it. Nice. I'll be able to sell those off. Now, obviously, I, nothing would make me happier than keeping them. Uh, they're all shoddy grade anyway, so we're just better off selling them. I think I know exactly where to go sell them, though, and that's going to be this bar down here. And how's everybody out here? Still alive, so that's good. We'll just leave them out there for a second. We're going to go down here, see if we can find that one guy that buys... Um, I don't know if he was in here the other bar. The thief. Uh, he's actually not in here. Who are you? I... I nobody else really that new worth hiring. Except for this guy. Take a look. Let's do business. Oh, he's actually the... Uh, okay, fencing chance. Yeah, very, very, very low. I got to find the guy who wants to buy these. I uh, could buy some meat wraps while I'm here. I'd, uh, you know, we're pretty... Oh, boy. Actually, we have eaten all of our meat. At least all the meat that was on me. Ooh, everybody else is also consuming a lot of their meat. Except for Lexington. Um, boy, buying meat though. Yeah, I better buy some. I better buy it and have it. I've got the money. I'll be all right. I'll buy some meat. There. So that kind of puts a dent in my pocket. But if we can find that thief who's buying stuff, then we'll sell him these items and then uh, we'll be a little bit better off. If we can't find him, we'll just save him till we head to the next place. There you go. Okay, so he's probably in here. Yeah, he's over here. Right there he is. Yeah, I do have stuff to fence. You've only got 498. Ah, you're. All right, we're going to we're going to keep him on us. So we're not getting another character before we leave. Uh, we are unfortunately taking this stuff with us and we're going how uh, how we are. Yeah, I don't dare fence this here. Okay, that's that's fine. That's actually not a big deal. It's not a big deal because we can always sell it in the next town. What is that? Small copper? Okay. Yeah, we can always sell it in the next town. I am uh, very encumbered carrying them, so let's uh, split the load and the food up. Uh, Lexington, you're fine, but you can carry some of this. And this will actually build everybody's strength up a little bit because everybody will be carrying one of these. Obviously, everybody should probably be wearing it until I'm ready to sell it. Or I might just end up keeping them. Uh, you can't because you're Hive. So I will end up selling yours. And Tarsus, yeah, you might as well put that on. No, nah, maybe we'll end up keeping them. I'll think it over. But we're going to head off to the next town, and I'm going to go all on my lonesome, I think. If we find a party of people to join us, then we'll probably go ahead and join them. A starving vagrant. I was going to say maybe we could at least loot him for something, but he really don't have anything. That's worth grabbing. Is this the direction I want to go? Yeah. 
All right, we're, we are off. We'll actually just go ahead and set this to here. All right, we got some starving vagrants coming this way. A pretty good size pack of them. Uh, they're not they're not too strong, but we're not in a position yet to fight that many. We would have to have a few more people with us, so we're gonna sneak around and let them do their thing. Eventually, we might be in a position to actually take them on. But now is not that time. We're almost there, so let's finish out the journey. All right, and we did it. We've made it to Stoat, which is great. We're going to go ahead and look uh, look around, see what we can find, maybe uh, recruit a few more people. Actually, I know I want to recruit a few more people before I do anything else. Let's get inside here. This is a pretty bustling-looking area, actually. Might be, uh, might be a lot of good things to look around and find. Maybe, let's see, where's, I'm looking for a bar because I, I want to see if there's any potential recruits to at least save up for. But I'm not finding any. I am also scouting out right now for potential places to maybe rob. Uh, there is actually an inn right here, which is nice because you could go there and sleep if we had any injured characters, but we don't. Everybody's in pretty good health. Jail. We've got another clothing shop, which we did pretty good off of last time. It's a ranger shop, but I've yet to see mechanical shop residential. I can see if I could try to rob. A weapon shop right there. Let's definitely go take a look at the weapon shop. And see what kind of stuff they're carrying. Plus, I want to see if I can sell this stuff I, I uh, got. Ah, 48% chance. It's better, but not a whole lot. I can sell this, though, so I'm going to... Yeah, planks. I'd love I'd love some planks. Uh long sword, ninja blade, a lot of good stuff here. I do got this ninja blade, which is worth a decent amount. 516 to be exact. And then the planks would be big. Uh, they're worth a really good amount. So being able to rob this guy would be awesome. Um this isn't really that heavily guarded. I feel like I could do this. And I definitely don't want to try to steal anything probably right here during day. Oh, it's so tempting though. Oh, there's no way I'm picking that lock. What do they got upstairs? Anything? If my thievery was just a little bit higher, we could literally rob these guys, like, during the day. Ooh. I'm assuming one of them is going to drift up here. Um, 70% chance. That's a pretty good chance, but for a sell value of 372, is it worth it? Sixty-four, three I'm only going to get that stealing chance up higher if I steal more. But I don't know if it's worth it during the daytime. And I'm obviously not going to do it with these guys in town. No real good place to put them except just off in the distance. So let's send them out. Oh, hopefully they don't get attacked. Whatever that is looks awesome. Or 
there's some manhunters out there. Guys better stick to an area where there's not manhunters. Over here is fine. Copper. Or just stand over here and just stay and sneak. Just stay in the area just in case I need... I don't want to lose you guys. But nothing would make me happier than... Stealing this. I could sell that for six twenty-five. Oh boy. Uh I was stealing stuff with much lower uh chances earlier, but it was nighttime and nobody could uh catch me. You know, I mean they could catch me, but it was just easier to get away. I'm on the second floor of this. These guys are wide awake down here. I will not be able to run away and get away, especially in this town. Well, you know, nighttime's coming, so we can at least wait till it's nighttime. And then we can break in, especially into that weapon shop. That's what I want to do. Uh, for sure. There is people who are going to be sleeping on the bottom floor. I believe we've got one person. Yeah, there's two beds right there. So there is going to be people sleeping on the bottom floor. Which is... Could be bad. Okay. Well, it looks like a lot of good stuff, though. Where is the really good stuff? Probably right there's a safe. Which I still don't have high enough lock picking, but there's a couple things here I can lock pick. And probably get away with. And then raise my lock picking like that stuff in the back. All right. Just the two of them, huh? Okay, so just the two of them, and they're probably going to both go lay in those beds as soon as it's nighttime. Which will be really good. Practice my stealth a little bit. We've already got it to 47, so if I get that to 50, that would be wonderful. Where are those guys at? They're over there and they're nice and hidden, so we're pretty good there. No other particular places I see here that are worth robbing except for the weapon store. Obviously, being able to fence anything off here is going to be near to impossible. Also, something else to keep in mind is I don't see any bars, which is kind of unfortunate. Ooh, we do have a trade here. Uh, oh, right there's one bar. Okay, so we can look at that. Uh, we do have a trade guild here, though, which is great. Okay, let me see if I can actually get into here. It looks like that guard's going for it. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, using the... That's not a guard. It's a guy using the port john and that's a, not a guard either. So let me try to pick the lock. Watching out for people. We definitely do not want to get caught doing this. Come on. Ah, oh, we got it. All right, let's hope these guys are both asleep. I see one guy up here. I'm hoping one guy is asleep downstairs. We're going to find out right now. He is. He's asleep. Okay. Shut the door. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's do this one first, right over here by the door. Okay, we're gonna try and get as many weapons as we can get. We probably will equip our guys with them. I don't know if I will. I'll probably sell the weapons our guys have to make up the money to buy a new character. And I'll uh, go ahead and use the weapons that we steal here. Uh, still not a great chance, but the, both of these are okay. I'd really rather have those planks if I can find them. Still not skilled enough to pick that. Oh. Okay, he's out. Okay. Oh, that was close. Um, 
mercenary club. That is pure 100% grade A trash. Ah, oh, crap. We are going... Ah, uh, boy. We're going to walk out of here empty-handed, aren't we? Unless we could get into that safe somehow. Ah, we can pick this metal chest. Oh, no, we can't. Come on. So I'll have to work on getting my skills up for those. I got to steal something in here. All right, let's at least start taking stuff that we can sell. We got to at least get stuff we can sell. We got to get our... Oh, <gasps> we've been spotted. Um, oh, there's a guard right outside the door. We might be going to jail. Oh, the we might be okay. We might be okay. Okay, let me quickly make sure these guys are good and they are all right. So all we're basically going to do is run as fast as we can that way. Good chance to get our athletic skills up. Until at least this goes down. And we might be able to lose these guys in the dust storm anyways. Yeah, our athletics are pretty high, so I think we're going to be okay. I just want to make sure that these guys are still good, and they are. They got away. See, so we're, we're getting there. These guys might chase me for a while, but we'll... Nope. Just a few. Just one more guy. One more guy that's pretty fast, and he's, pr he's a shop guard. And he's pretty adamant on uh, getting me. Still sees me. Wow, he he's he's very adamant. That's all right. Dora Athletics is thirty-five. Oh, pack of skimmers, perfect. He's gonna get mauled to death. This is perfect. We're going to rob him anyways. He don't have great stuff on, but he's got enough stuff on that we're going to be able to steal it from him. So we're going to actually hang out in the area and wait for this guy to get just completely obliterated. There's no way he's going to fight four, uh, four skimmers. Come on. Are you kidding me? They're right on top of him. Oh, there's a bounty on my head. Wanted for trespassing by the United Cities. That sucks. That guy never got attacked by those. I wonder if the bounty lifts eventually. Because now I can't go inside there, I'd imagine. Well, actually, let's see. I'm going to say that I can't go back. So, unfortunately, that didn't work out. Oh boy, 100. Oh. If we run into bounty hunters, we're in a little bit of trouble. I don't know if they're going to want 100 credits, but I don't know how that works out. Well, either way, I think now's a good time to end it since we are out of time for this episode. So, if we run into bounty hunters, I'd be really curious to see how that plays out. And hopefully, they don't like just absolutely murder me for 100 credits. That'd Kind of suck. Oh, we'll expire in two hours, so that's not bad. Uh, I'm not too worried about that then, so we'll just stay away from the United Cities. I guess now would be a good time then for us to head 
head off to... Well, we don't really know where we're going. I might send somebody inside to quickly buy a map and then we'll... We'll probably push off to wherever the next location is. I'm thinking maybe... Go down into this area. Uh, I don't want to try to head through those mountains, so we might try to take this... Like, what looks like maybe a valley through here. These are mountains as well. So maybe like a valley so we can get down into this more green, lush area. Uh, seems like a pretty decent idea. I might change that as uh, time goes on, but I want to thank you all for joining me for this one. Do hope that you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.